edge of your journey is over, another begins. We must travel to Edoras with all speed. Edoras? That is no short distance. We hear of trouble, Rohan. It goes ill with the king. Yes, and it will not be easily cured. Then we have run all this way for nothing. Now we shall leave those poor hobbits here in this horrid, dark, dank, tree-infested... Ah, I mean, charming, quite charming, forest. It was more than mere chance that brought Merry and Pip into Fangor. A great power has been sleeping here for many long years. The coming of Merry and Pippin will be like the falling of small stones that starts an avalanche in the mountains. In one thing you have not changed, dear friend. Hmm? You still speak in riddles. <laughs> A thing is about to happen that has not happened since the elder days. The Ents are going to wake up and find that they are strong. And they are strong. This is the Ents of Fangorn for Middle Earth Role Playing Game, Merp, uh, based on Jace, based on J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth as detailed in The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings. This is the source book. It's much more than just an adventure module, and I say that on, on a not regular basis that these things are what they are. And I also say, for me, these are a an extension of the Tolkien world that I. I love so much and by extension it opens up windows into areas of the books and the novels that barely scratch or touch or just a, an image on a map somewhere but it expands the world and gives it much more depth and width and we understand things better and so through these books by themselves they're wonderful game supplements to be played in any way you wish to play them but from a reader's perspective they're also a great set of tools because like i said they give us a, a, a an open nuendo on a very specific area of tolkien's world and every time i read the movie or see the movies or read a book read the books again after having consumed these things i see things in a deeper way than what i did before so when we look at the book itself guidelines and entry definitions conversion charts for converting to to other you know you want to use pathfinder rules you want to use uh, uh well role masters already here if you want to use uh um uh, or a dozen other fantasy sets of mechanics that you're familiar with it's very easy to convert these over to your favorite system so we have converting spell lists locks and traps and introduction this work focuses on the huge wood that lies along the southeastern flank of the Misty Mountains. This sylvan realm is commonly called Fangorn, after the great ant the men known as Treebeard. Elves speak of the forest as Terranormor, the Black Forest, while men of the world simply call it to the Entwood. Uh, we've got an overview, brief timeline, the ants themselves, their history, a brief history gives you some more depth, talks a little bit more about the ant wives, the culture and social structure among the imps, their their idea of worship or form of worship, their daily life, magic, entrance, their homes, the land itself, both within the forest and the outside area, the, little, the hilly grassy area just beyond it plants and animals that can be found, the most common ones that can be found in the area. Politics and power of Bangorn, the inhabitants, tree beard, uh, skin bark, leaf walk, and their stats, which, like I said, it's not overly difficult to convert these over. The Hurons themselves, and then another uh, uh, fictional character, uh, an elf, during a certain period of time, so you can potentially have another encounter. Uh, the Hurons. The Hurons are tree spirits, as they're sometimes called, or an unknown origin. Several theories are put forth to explain their beginnings. One states that they are ants and they lost track of their cultural heritage and become dormant, but not completely. Other states, there are trees that become entish. That's my personal view. I believe that they're just being around the ants 
and the, the int magic per se and the int's attention for eons or millennia have caused certain amount of trees to kind of wake up. Uh, Braggers Doral's deep topic with an alpha Merkel is possible if one can imagine the ants reproduce much like plants they resemble. If this were the case then they might be also possible that an ant could cross pollinate passively with a tree that is similar to it in structure and produce half ants. These half ants or herons would then grow into maturity and would resemble trees even more than ants do, so much so that only ant would they appear different to the untrained eye? They would just be trees. Of course, the explanation might write a guess of pure conjecture based on few facts, etc., etc. Uh, this character here, Frangorn, during the year third age, 20, 27th, 39, 30, 19. This is the the years that uh, lead up to the the War of the Ring. Frangorn after the War of the Ring. The circle Orthan is broken. The, the tents are relocated all about circles, but things continue. The ants do not, like the elves, go across the sea to the Undying Lands. They just become more reclusive and, and much more inverted, or eventually, I imagine, sleepy and become tree like once eventually. Then we got the politics and the borders. Habitus circa 13, uh, 16, third age, 1640. That's the, the, uh, Games suggested timeline several thousand years before the War of the Ring. Things are quite different. Uh, Rohan doesn't exist at this point. Uh, it's the the territory known as Rohan is Cardal Cardalhorn, Cardalhorn, Cardalhan, and it's uh, the northern province of Gondor, and it is inhabited by Gondorians, Dunedain, and middlemen, so to speak. Uh, we have the Cardalhorn, the inhabitants, uh, Tear Limelight, the our uh, largest citadel in the region outside of Orthiac. Uh in the wool, the plains, the people. And we have the Sylvan Elves and the Orcs, their inhabitants and problems, borders of the region. Elves of Lorne. So back to the forest itself. Now we have places of interest, the Durandingle. Which is a, a meeting a meeting area for the uh, for the ants, uh, Willing Hall, one of uh, Treebird's primary residences, and the one most common, the closest to the the border or the edge of the forest, which he's most likely to entertain a guest friend, such as Pippin and Mary and Pippin, perhaps Gandalf has been here. A little description, maps, pictures of it, and it does credible. Like I said, Peter Jackson's movies do credible. I've always wondered, in some aspects, if some of the writers and designers for uh, Peter Jackson, perhaps himself, had either access to these books, or some of them, and read them, or were familiar with them, and maybe were gamers back in their time, or on their, in their spare time. Uh, the Falls of Mist layout. This would be a, an adventure location, potentially. Tolan's home. Uh, she's an elf who become reclusive but is a healer and has a bad has a has a dark has a dark history and is trying to uh, live out her life without becoming a bigger problem uh, let's see the layer of the uh, the bars through or whatever the orcs that happen to be in the re region just uh, tear limelight the main Gondorian town, the fortress of Tim uh, Tier Limelight and location. Here's a bandit home for an adventure. The Caverns of Pain, this is a separate uh, kind of a, a, an orc stronghold, a waypoint in the Brownlands that's somewhere between uh, Dolgador and uh, the holds in the mountains. So the orcs can stop over in running their errands and their raids and things like this. Uh, engine level, mine layout, lookout level. So we get so some suggested adventures. A raid on the tier limelight, rescue of sharp leaf, and an excursion, treasures of the falls of mist into the caverns of pain, the bandits of the barrel, Pretty much. Now, I'd like to go into a little more depth, but I was halfway through. This is the second round for this video. My 
computer crashed on me because using this software takes a lot of CPU and I have to be careful that I don't crash it. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time. So I'm trying to get into it. Like I said, I like this. I like this sort of stuff because it gives me a deeper understanding of Fangorn and the Ents and their role in the world, so to speak, or at least their social in their little corner of it. Uh, there's always so much more things to learn and it, it just expands. So in the brief window uh, when Treebeard's involved in the movies, I understand him and his history far better than what's presented in the movie and, and in the book this is considered beta canon. It's not uh, Tolkien approved per se, but it definitely is written with the flavor and the ambiance of Tolkien's works. This is Middle-earth in detail. This would be a textbook or a tome, a research document that somebody would have made that would, you know, give somebody else a better view of a, pe a piece of, of the world as they know it. So, you know, like I said, so much stuff in even short. I love it, right? So there you have it. The Ents of Bangor.